A consortium led by Dagang Exchange has won the bid to acquire semiconductor fabricating company Silterra Malaysia from Kazana National. In a boss filing, the next said Kazana had informed it that it had won the bid subject to the signing of a definitive agreement. The next is partnering with Beijing CGP Investment Co. According to the next, the acceptance of the bid is subject to strict confidentiality with Kazana and no further details can be publicly disclosed at this point in time. The company has been looking to reduce its dependency on a single segment and a single customer by growing all its core businesses of business facilitation, system integrator and energy segments. To recap, aside from Denex, another local competitor, Green Packet, was also said to be in the race to acquire the Kulim-based chip foundry. Major palm oil buyers are seeking to block FGV holdings and Saim Dhabi plantations from their global supply chain after the US banned imports from the two producers, Reuters reports. Quoting sources, Reuters reports that US-based General Mills has issued global no-buy orders for both the companies and sources said other buyers have also requested suppliers to reduce or exclude FGV and Saim Dhabi products. This is not just for the US but also for Europe, Australia and Japan. The U.S. Customs and Border Protection banned both CPO producers last year over alleged use of forced labour. Some buyers, including Nestle, Unilever and Hershey, had suspended FGV since 2019 after industry watchdog RSPO found exploitative labour practices. However, Kraft Heinz, Nestle and Unilever said they were in discussions with Saim Darby over the allegations. Saim Darby said many of its key customers have expressed continued support and that it has engaged with independent firms to to address the US ban. FGV did not respond to a request for comment. Kananga Investment Bank via its wholly owned Kananga Private Equity is acquiring a 19% stake in digital asset exchange operator Tokenized Technology Malaysia. The statement did not specify how much Kananga PE is paying for the stake and from whom it's being acquired. Tokenized Malaysia operates Tokenized Exchange, which allows trading of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum. It is one of three licensed DAXs by the Securities Commission and is currently the second largest DAX in the country. Kananga Investments says that this investment in tokenized Malaysia adds to the lineup of additional initiatives it has embarked on over recent years. It had previously entered into a JV with Japan-based Rakuten Inc. Kananga Investment Group MD Dato Che Wai Leong said in a statement, the group has been building a digital ecosystem to offer its customers a wide spectrum of financial products and services, including digital assets. Che says the emergence of digital assets, including cryptocurrencies, has been gaining acceptance globally. Shinhin Group Property said it is spending some 268 million to acquire 81.9 acres of land for development of five different property projects in the Klang Valley. The group is aiming to generate 3.73 billion in GDV from ongoing and future developments in the next two years. According to a Feb 8 boss filing, Chinhin's latest proposal is to acquire an 11.53 acre land in Cyprusjaya for 50.22 million that it intends to turn into a mixed development project project with an expected GDV of 1.1 billion ringgit. Executive Director Chiao Ho Chun says that Chin Hin intends to expand its portfolio of developments to various growth corridors in the Klang Valley, such as Surunda, Banda Kinrara, Bangsa South and Cyberjaya. The types of developments that are being proposed include townships, service departments and mixed-use developments and offices. He adds that with the increasing prospect of effective COVID-19 vaccinations this year, there there is optimism that the property market will see a turning point soon. The Malaysian government, through the Inland Revenue Board, had filed a 68 million suit against Eric Tan Kim Long, aka Fat Eric. Tan is a known associate of fugitive Low Tech Joe. The application, seeking tax arrears from 2010 to 2013, was filed at KL High Court on January 15, 2021, according to documents cited by the EdgeMarkets.com. The notices were sent to his last known address on November 24th, and there has been no reply. As such, the government is seeking the 
sum of some 68 million and 5% interest from date of the judgment and costs of the action. To recap, on June 12, 2018, the MACC revealed Tan as the purported signatory of numerous bank accounts overseas through which billions of ringgit of dirty money from 1MDB passed through. The authorities have issued warrants of arrest on both Lo and Tan.